Hello, everybody, and welcome to Penguins to Go, your daily dose of Pittsburgh Penguins news and analysis. You can find us on YouTube at Inside the Penguins or anywhere you get your podcasts from. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the most important position in all of hockey, and that's goaltending. The Pittsburgh Penguins had a lot of questions to answer with their goaltending, and they said, let's just run it back. Let's run it back with Tristan Jari, giving him a five-year contract worth a little bit over $5 million per season. Now, the fan base's reaction to that was uh, as to be expected when the team makes a long investment in a goaltender that spent the majority of last season on the shelf with what was described as a chronic hip injury. Those words, no matter who you are in the NHL, are a scary couple of words because that could potentially be the end of your career as you know it. Not to mention the goaltender whose entire position relies on his ability to move laterally as well as forward and backward and getting up, getting down in the butterfly, making a long extending save. You have to be more flexible than most other players. Let's just say the hips are, are pretty important to that position. But regardless, the Penguins went out, they signed Tristan Jari, and for the first time since signing that contract, Jari spoke with the media over Zoom. He addressed the expectations that come with that sort of deal because they are much higher than what he was making three and a half million dollars on his last contract. It was essentially a bridge contract. Now he's the guy. At the very least, he's being paid to be the guy. So he addressed those expectations on that Zoom call. You know what else he addressed? The elephant in the room. His health. Here's what he had to say about the injury last season. Quote, The injuries I had were something that I couldn't have avoided. It was something that just kind of happens. And it was something I just had to deal with. I was dealing with it since the beginning of training camp. That quote in itself is a lot to unpack, but that last sentence is a red flag. It's a red flag for a regime that is no longer in place. If it's something that is true, it does bring into picture the failure to act on the part of the front office once again. Ron Hextall, Chris Pryor, Brian Burke, they all got canned. And this has to be one of the primary reasons why, if this is true. If your goaltender, your starting goaltender, is dealing with an injury in preseason, why not go get an insurance plan? That's just a matter of fact in general. Then you bring into fact the this goaltending duo, Jari and DeSmith, has been having this issue, or at the very least has had this issue for one year, let alone the two, because DeSmith was not available in the playoffs when the Penguins went up against the Islanders and Tristan Jari had a horrific playoff series. His only full playoff series to this point. If that's what you're looking at, and you say, you know what, I trust him, I want to give him one more kick at the can, and then this happens in preseason, I don't understand why you don't go out and get somebody else. But... I digress on that point. Why harp on three guys that are no longer part of the organization? Let's move on from that. But you know what it does tell me? That this was an injury that, chronic or not, again, we'll get into that, an injury that just got worse and worse as the year went on. That's pretty much an obvious statement to make at this point. But still, Tristan Jari got off to the hottest start of his career last season. 4-0-0 in his first four games, the first time he's ever done that in his career, a 941 save percentage, and a 2.00 goals against average. Really stellar opening week of the season. Everything you want to see from a two-time All-Star netminder that is playing in a contract year. I expected him, my bold prediction last year, was that Tristan Jari was going to be part of the Vezina conversation. Spoiler alert, he wasn't. But it certainly looked like a decent take early on. 4-0-0, all the numbers I just mentioned. Really solid start for Tristan Jari. And none of us knew that he was dealing with and 
injury at that point. We hadn't even heard the weird quote of physical issues up to that point. After that, though, as with the rest of the team, it wasn't just Tristan Jari, went through the worst losing stretch for the organization in the past 15 seasons. The team went on to lose seven games in a row. In that stretch, Tristan Jari was 0-3-2 with an 870 save percentage and a 4.8 goals against average. I don't think I need to explain it to you, but that's far below league average for a backup goaltender let alone for a starting caliber goaltender. That's when you started to hear, well, he's been dealing with some physical issues. It's not an injury yet. He's not going to miss a lot of games because of it yet, but he's dealing with physical issues. And then it's almost as if people forgot about that. I certainly forgot about that because he, Tristan Jari rattled off a tremendous stretch right up to the Christmas break. 11-0-2 with a 9.35 save percentage and a 2.07 goals against average. So if you look at that all together, his first half of the season, right up to the Christmas break, he had won 15 of 22 games. He had a great save percentage, a solid goals against average, and except for that one period of time where everybody on the team underperformed when they lost seven in a row, Tristan Jari was an excellent goaltender. And it was never the same. It was never the same. I don't know what it was about the Christmas break. But Tristan Jari and the rest of the team, for that matter, came out flat after that. And for Tristan Jari, it never got back to the level that it was before the break. Here's what he had to say on whether or not the injuries he was was suffering last season were chronic. Quote, I don't think it's chronic in any way. They never said it was chronic, so I don't know where that would have come from, but it's behind me, and it's something that I'll never have to deal with again. It's been a good offseason. Come training camp, I'll be at 100%. I'm currently at 100% right now. Those quotes, if you take them for face value, are exactly what the Penguins fan base needed to hear. If you're living under a rock might be the only way that you would have known that nobody in this fan base was quite 100% comfortable with Tristan Jari signing. I feel like I was on the major- or on the minority that was okay with the signing. A lot of people don't trust Tristan Jari's health. A lot of people don't trust Tristan Jari in the postseason. Decent reasons to not want to give a goaltender five years and over $5 million. But at the very least, this has to put a little bit of ease in the minds of those that are worried about his injuries. At the end of the day, nobody's ever going to 100% believe what somebody says in July. You have to go out there and show it. When training camp starts, does he look 100%? Does he stay 100% throughout the season? Does he stay healthy throughout the season? A big part of that is going to be learning from the past mistakes of the old front office. Kyle Dubas has to look at what happened last season. Tristan Jari was dealing with injuries or physical issues or whatever you have to call it. He was dealing with something in training camp. And the Penguins didn't go out and address it and still utilized him like a number one workhorse goaltender, which there are very few of remaining in the NHL. Casey DeSmith didn't get very many starts early in the season, and it just continued to break down Tristan Jari's health until it finally reached a tipping point at the Winter Classic. He missed months, came back for two games, missed another month, came back, didn't look the same, And he even said in that media availability yesterday that uh, it took a little bit of time after the season to, to get right. With the benefit of multiple, multiple months off, he's saying that he's 100%. He's saying that the injury wasn't, quote, chronic. So while, yes, you want to wait, you want to see for your own eyes whether or not this is the two time All Star Tristan Jari that the Penguins signed or the shell of that player 
that we saw towards the tail end of last season. You have to wait and see. But at the very least, in mid-July, these are positive signs for the Penguins at their most important position. Is he 100%? I don't know. I'm not going to be able to tell from a Zoom call. But we shall see in late September when he hits the ice for Penguins training camp. That's all for this one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, you can find us on YouTube at Inside the Penguins or anywhere you get your podcast from. We'll see you guys next time.